This part of West Dallas is under transition. It used to be filled with old storage facilities, tire shops, and industrial plants. Now it's known as a graphic artist haven, and Shepard Ferry is making his mark too. He started tagging when he was 14. He's been arrested 16 times for graffiti. But now, 20 years later, Shepard Ferry is a renowned street artist whose work hangs in museums, like his famous Obama Hope image, which is displayed at the Smithsonian. I think that art can benefit almost any neighborhood, but especially neighborhoods that um, maybe are a little depressed and you know need something exciting. He spent a week in Dallas meeting public school students and painting nearly a dozen walls with his iconic red, black, and golden hues that are beautiful and thought-provoking. Did a, um, a couple of murals on a building on Singleton and then across the street in, in West Dallas, and those pieces are, are about um, peace and harmony, and they're uh, really large, 20-something foot tall by 100 foot wide. The thing that makes me the most happy when on one level somebody just enjoys looking at what I do and then on another level it makes them think about something. And instead of his name, Ferry often paints his signature word, obey. Tell people to obey, they're like, what? Obey what, man? I'm not going to do that. And it gets people to question the concept of obedience where a lot of the things out there, they have an agenda. There's maybe influence, but saying obey makes people think about the agenda of everything they're confronted with. Nowadays, he's invited to paint on walls, like this one donated by the Dallas Contemporary, but he pays for all of the materials out of his own pocket. But that's fine, I'm used to, I'm used to that. I uh, make enough money uh, selling art to fund these projects that I'm basically giving to the public, whether they like it or not. So now you don't have to step inside a museum. You can enjoy artwork for free, even on your drive to work. Roni Proter, CW33 News.